penis. I wonder how much of my stuff is going to not work right now because the bot's down. Bot's down. Bot's haunted. <laughs> what? <laughs> bot's haunted. <laughs> Hello. Um, hi, everybody. Hi. Lolly, of course, in chat tonight because it's Sunday. Hello, Liz and Dennis and Warder. And who else did I see? Uh, oh, Miss Violet and Fritz are here. Hi, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm sure this will resolve itself if I simply sit here and do nothing. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Tom will just... <laughs> Tom will just sit here and do his thing. Um, and then everything will be fine. And it'll be fine. I'm just... You I'm literally... Need for me to intervene? Yeah. Not my modus operandi. Yeah, format C, it's fine. What's I don't need that. I don't need anything on that drive. I'm not using that drive for anything useful. My games are on D. Star dot star. Star dot star. Uh. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just Alright. Let's we can find. Just gonna, awesome, just gonna redo this real quick. Yeah, yeah, water. Yeah. Yeah. Do a do a sim link to DevNull. Just everything goes there. Just save everything there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, why is my nose itchy? God, I'm sorry. My nose is itchy. Because you didn't scratch it. Oh, no, we'll explain it. Yeah. <sighs> if it ain't broken, I'll fix it till it is. That's pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's. Yep. Yep. That's what I do here. That's what that's... I do here. Oof. Uh, Boy, you've really you got him in a box on that one. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Why is this yelling at me? What are you yelling about, thing? I don't know what we're yelling about. <laughs> I keep getting a lot of red versus blue clips on TikTok now. It's kind of wild. Um, all right, so we're just gonna like. Grab the, the entire crowbar team. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Also, yes. Also Twitch, yeah. Okay, now that's done. Let's see if this works. Uh, uh, incredible. Incredible. Mm, it works? No. It works even even better than it worked before. Yeah, that's it. You, you, right on the head, buddy. That's that was in fact a no. That's yep. It's fine. We'll get there. Give me a minute. I feel like there's probably a sound command for this, but I bet it doesn't work. Hey, you know what? Uh, you might be right. There it goes. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm going to call in an expert. Do we have one of those? I, I have one of those. I thought you were one of those. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's good. I like that. I'm going to use that later. Uh... Is it throwing a uh, 3090 not found error? No, the 3090 is there. I checked. You didn't accidentally also download Waterbot, did you? <laughs> Maybe it simply extinguished your bot. It's Earthbot. That's the problem. It's Earthbot. See, Waterbot's fine as long as it's, as long as it's an oil-based fire. It's fine. Mm -hmm. They could combine to form Steambot. Ooh, Steambot. Unfortunately, forty ninety would come yeah, for you. That's what I need. I need a forty ninety. How much? Of, all right, I'm going to New Egg. We're gonna we're gonna do terrible things right now, which include going to New Egg. Mm, eggs. I do love eggs. Let's see. Can I? 
What the shit? We're going to new egg. Uh, components. GPUs. Game. What the shit? There's all kinds of crazy shit that my farm that I don't remember putting here. Let's see what we got here. Shit, they got a 4080 for only 1200 bucks. That seems like $1,200 more than I'm willing to spend right now. That seems like $1,200 more than I have to spend right now. Let's see. Let's just look for these. Yeah. Yeah, we just want we just want the 40 series. We don't want any of this other stuff. I don't want no 20 series. I don't want none of this. I don't want none of this. I'm not I wouldn't buy it from Newegg, but I do like to see what they have. Alright, let's see, that's 4080. I think this PC came from... Oh, no, it didn't. It came from Best Buy. Never did find Muscle Mommy. Where the fuck is she? Okay, now we apply the filters. Let's I see. love how this game has a feature that literally lets you just find wherever an NPC is on the map. But still, I'm always like, where is this person? I can't find them. Uh, Coral Island, Miss Violet. Yeah, Tom's Tom's back in Coral Island. There's better things over twenty two hundred dollars on. Oh yeah, no, oh, there absolutely are. Let's see. All right, let's go. Coral! Coral. <clears throat> Almost threw out my own voice on that one. <clears throat> yeah, Tom is... the bugs. Yeah, Tom's been... It's... He's been having the, uh, yeah. I'm having a time. Yeah. Ike. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Love that was, game pass. Love, if, love that game pass. Just be really careful if you're playing it on console. That seems to be where a lot of the uh, bugs that delete game save files seem to be happening. Oof. That's twenty five hundred, twenty six hundred, twenty six sixty. Good fuck. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's. You could be fine, but, you know. Really, just playing this at all right now is probably a crapshoot, regardless, but. Uh, it is play anywhere. Ooh, I do. I love a good play anywhere. Uh, yes. 2,500. In the beginning, I was playing interchangeably between the console and the PC. Just whether I happened to be in the living room or at my desk. All right. I give up. Where is she? Shit. Now I don't remember what the fuck her name is. Let's see. There it is. Chaim. Or Chaim. Ah. Of course. She's getting drunk. 
Oh my god, there's one that's $3,400. Why? Why is this $3,400? I mean, it's an, it's an Asus one, which, alright, fine, but like, no. Oh, because it's got pretty lights all over it, that's why. Oh, that still doesn't work. That's fun. That's that's a lot of pretty lights. It's pretty, but like... Wow, Lolly, how dare you? No, I don't need one, Miss Violet. I'm, I'm just... Oh, are you sharing anything? Oh, I... No, I don't know that I am here. <laughs> there, is that better? Oh, man. So much better. There Look you go. How, uh... Colorful that is. Yeah, it's very co look. Look at the colors, Duke. The colors. Oh, I do like when colors do colory things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. All like colorful and colorated and stuff. That's a better provide fake border. You're not fucking kidding, pal. Ah. Uh. Aha! Uh -huh, I found her. Here, please have a tea leaf. Now pay me. Emily! It's a song I wrote because Emily's here. Oh, nice, nice. Hi, Emily. Your face is cute colors. Yeah, get wrecked. Why is it comes? With, it comes with a fancy ruler screwdriver. What's what's with the ruler screwdriver thingy? <gasps> sweet, sweet tea leaf. I uh, I brewed some tea leaves today. Made me a fresh pitcher of some sweet tea. Oh, I thought you liked yours unsweet. No, oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, the current quest is to get the bot back up and running. My dev environment is borked. I don't know what I did wrong. Reject's gonna come in here in a minute and tell me that I've like completely fucked this up. I looked, and I know that's what it is. I fucked it up. This is this is all my fault. Reject's gonna yell at me. He's gonna see what did I say? What did I say? I told you. Listen, I'm doing my best. Have you tried simply not fucking it up? Um, I wasn't aware that was an option. Oh, of course it's an option. I wasn't aware that was an option. Let's. All right. Just. In my own terminal here. Yeah, see, I npm install global grunt. Uh, uh, like that? Yeah, just like that. GPT-5 is in, oh god. Uh, thanks, Fritz. Who doesn't fuck things up? <laughs> Not me. I'm, I'm great Sponge at fucking... SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, that's something different. <laughs> that's, that's different. <laughs> And then I do grunt prep, and it just like Meow. GPT five. No, not possible. Just no, just not. Just roll a nightly build and use that instead. Actually, the uh, the latest changes are already in the nightly, Dennis. So I could do that if I really wanted to, but I don't want to because I want to run from source. All right, we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Um, Unfortunately, Dennis, your way isn't complicated enough, and therefore no good. <laughs> Why am I running grunt manually? Uh, to see Again. if I can get it to work. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. 
Tom's doing the good grunts over there. I also grunt manually. Yeah. All right, reject. But listen, I, I mean, I'm gonna do this. What about Rex Shepard? Uh, I'm gonna do this, but a grunt file does a lot of different tasks. Yeah, yeah. Grunt, our grunt file does. It's basically the thing that does all of our building. It's very nice. Reject spent a lot of time on it, and here I am fucking it up. Uh, so listen, reject. Here's the problem. I like. We were on one four zero. Uh, do, like, if I install latest, is that going to fuck us up, pal? R right, Dennis, but all NPM run start does is runs grunt, and I can't run grunt. If I do NPM install grunt, it does 161. We were on 140. See? We were on one four zero. Oh, that's Maybe a that's oh shit! I forgot to do it. No, son of a. Now see, I fucked up because I didn't mean to. I, I did it with. Did I not? Damn it! All right, we're doing you this. Should try the lighter weight version called Runt. Oh, thanks. Let it bake? Alright. I fucked it up anyway. Boy, did you. Yeah. Alright, that's... That's there. Okay. I fixed that one. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let, let the package lock file do its thing. Package lock, you just do, keep doing your thing, man. Okay, but does it work? Will it really lock my package? <laughs> I've tried products like this before. It's been a pretty penny. I don't mind telling you. Jesus Christ. Package lock really works. I'll order it, does it? Uh, firmly grasp that package in your hand. Uh, look how... F what have I done? I don't know. I don't know. Locking packages in October. Yeah, that's, yeah. You lock your package in October in preparation for No Nut November. Right? Is that how that works? I'm pretty sure. Is, okay, is we're, locking package, is, is that like docking? All right, we're going to start from the top. <laughs> they always do. And destroy December goddamn <laughs> dummy. <laughs> Oh yeah, Miss Violet, that's how this works around here. This is this is just how it, how it goes. You know, December, the middle of summer for Dommy. Yeah, that's actually true. I just wanted to make sure that everyone felt really weird for a second. Yeah. Thinking about that. <laughs> Why don't you try using version 420.69? Oh, nice. Um, okay. Uh, what? Well, you wanted a dev stream, you got one. I guess so, yeah. That doesn't work, so I need to do that. NPX works, Dennis. That's the problem. NPX works, but grunt from the command line doesn't. Just grunt on its own doesn't. And I don't know fucking why. Did you ask it nicely? So if I go like this, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know why. I have no idea why. 
Oh my god, she did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. Bean got Loaf a new little kitty kitty couch for Christmas. And Loaf is on her kitty couch. Oh, look at that. Just look at that. Uh, yeah, Grunt is a script, like, it's a, it's a scripting, like, task runner thing, so we have a lot of, it's because Volta's installing the global instance instead of Volta. The cloud has fix. Sweet. It's, what's great is it works fine on my laptop, so I have fucked something up. Now, Miss Violet, how come you can't have both? <laughs> Lawrence. Grunt is already installed by Grunt. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking uninstall Volt is what I'm gonna fucking do is what's gonna happen. So, Ms. Violet, um That sounds like an that sounds like an error I wrote. So this is for so this is for Firebot, the uh the bot that I use that it's our it's a Twitch chat bot, but it does a lot of stuff. And I have it like basically fully automating my stream um and i broke except it except when he doesn't except when i don't except when i don't object reference not set to an instance of an object thanks thanks chip <laughs> um how do i volta uninstall everything let's go Let's go here. Yeah, yeah. Can't Yay! Just... And now for your regularly scheduled dick jokes. <laughs> yeah, back to dick jokes. <laughs> Reference. Shit. I should do that. I should name my next created uh, character Richard Jokes. My god. Hold on, you can also uninstall a package using package manager with global or yarn global remove. Uh, okay. So, if I do that. Mm, hot dogs. <laughs> Volt. <laughs> hot dog. No. No, Lolly. No. I give up on learning grunt. <laughs> Grunt, yes. Uh, who wanted this? Sunny. I'm the I best for Thanks. Best. Thanks, Mini Dom. Appreciate you, buddy. Have I tried opening a new terminal after installing Grunt? Yes, I've tried that also. And we'll in oh. install. Oh, that's Sunny. I love that old guy. He was go, so you used to not all the things that make it go. Well our shit's an electron, so you know. <laughs> yeah, see, it's just uh, What have I done? Into TS or JS project, then you have to remember all the things. Yep, that's that's what's happening here. That's exactly what's happening. Okay, I'm. We're going nuclear. Bolt is kind of pissing me off now. I don't know what I did. It's working on my laptop, but it's not working here. I don't understand what I've done wrong. We're going to try it again. Okay, that's great. 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 Uh, no, reject did. This is all reject's fault. In fact, instead of just straight NPM.
Well, apparently, as of like version something or another, when you install global stuff, this is Biggs. Okay, this is Biggs' fault. This is all his fault. I blame him. Biggs is a good kitty. No, that's a different Biggs. That's Biggs with an S. We're talking about Biggs with a Z. This oh. is Biggs. Oh, Ziggs. Yes, exactly that. <laughs> okay. I uninstalled it. It's gone. We're gone. Now. The bigs, yes, the bigs. Okay. Okay. Grunt. It, but it, that's the thing. It's just the fucking like. It's just the it's the, it's just the fucking shorthand for it. It's not like NPX works, but Grunt by itself doesn't. Which still makes no sense to me. Wait a minute. I uninstalled it from global. Why is it still there if I uninstalled it? Because you touch yourself at night. Does it is that a caching thing, Reject, where it just hangs on to it when you ins install like in an environment? Well, I uninstalled it via Volta though. I already uninstalled it though. That's the thing. Like, I uninstalled it, then I uninstalled it there, which uses fucking Volta. Then I uninstalled it from the fucking package. Then I only installed it in the package. So this shouldn't be here because I uninstalled it from Volta. I'm gonna go delete it. Fuck this noise. I'm going to go fucking delete it. Where's my shit? Where is that? I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to uninstall Python too. Fucking, I'm going to delete it. See, it's, see, why is this here? Why is it, why? Why are you, you're here. Why are you here? Some kind of <laughs> smug satisfaction watching this thing hand you your ass. I mean, it is, it is, it is absolutely handing me my ass. It's eighteen seven one. Eighteen seven one. I'm opening terminal. I can. It's not there. Oh, you grunted. What, 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 what? Why? Why are you like this? What if I... It's like you programmed yourself a set of chuckle fucks to deal with. I did. I kind of did. See, it's not like... 
How is it there, but not? Like, ha it's trying to, I mean, it's getting there. I just, I'm confused is the big thing. Is like, why is it here? But I, when I go to uninstall it, it's not here. See, that's the thing that's really bothering me is it says it's not there, but it's there. I got an idea. We're going to install it and then uninstall it again. That'll show it. Well, I mean, it can't make it any worse. See, now you're thinking with portals. Have I checked under there for it? I have, I have in fact, checked under there for it. <laughs> under where? There he is. Mm. Turn it off and on again. I did. I did. I tried that too, yeah. Yeah. What if I just uninstall Volta and does Volta have a Okay. This is probably it, this. I probably fucked it up when I installed. Bigs. Not grunt, not growl. growl. <clears throat> There, is that, well, did I do it better a, that time? He's a bear. He's doing his best. I, I am doing my best. Uh, what are all the commands? Like, so fetch, install, uninstall, pin, list. Now you screwed your setup? Listen, I... <laughs> <laughs> Grunt error for me now after tinkering with Volta. So this is all Volta's fault. This is what's gonna this is really what's happening here. This is exactly why we can't have nice things. Did you set uh, Volta to not error out? Uh, no, I didn't. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, uh, maybe that's the problem. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete all this shit. Fuck a whole lot of this. Is Volta path in my path? Yes. Yes, it is. That's why it works. That's why Volta works from here. Because it's in my path. I'm just uninstalling it. I don't even give a fuck. This is what we're doing. I'm uninstalling Volta, and then I'm going to reinstall it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. Correct. Except no. Okay. Uh, all 
right, let's close that. Let's close this. How about now? Okay. Bye, reject. Love you. Oh, Warder, don't worry about him. That's that's his answer to everything. It served him well so far. Well, it's done something so far. All right, let's go. Uh, yep. Okay. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. <sighs> You're off to play Mass Effect. Bye, have fun storming the Citadel. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Dennis. Thanks, buddy. Um, Okay, okay. Required node less than seven, current node 18. Thanks for the lurk, Miss Violet. Wish me luck. What word are you gonna spell? No, no, no! It's not not that kind of spell, like like a like, oh, like a witch kind of spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Like casting and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna. This is the whole stream now. Just trying to get this goddamn thing to work. Seems that way. <laughs> oh, is it ever? <laughs> oh boy, grunt is grunt is grunt is absolutely a thing. Hi, Scoob. Could not be more of a thing. Yeah, it's very a thing right now. Super a thing. Incredibly a thing. Hurry on. I mean, I installed one six one. That's fine. All right. All right, let that do its thing. It's doing its thing. Okay. I'm gonna close this. We're gonna open a new one. That's good. <sighs> Let's try to close and reopen it again. I don't know what I did. Volta's Volta sucks. I mean, I'm sure it's, I know it's something that I've done wrong, but. No, no, I think it's important to blame something else. All right, that's fair. 
Um, let's try this again. So Volta is a version manager for Node and NPM. Um, so if you're working between projects and you have different versions of Node or NPM that you're working on, you can pin them to your project like so. So in Firebot, we are currently pinned to Node 18.17.1 and on NPM 10.2.4. Um, so what Volta will do is it basically puts in shims that will use the exact version of Node or NPM that you have set up in your project. No, that's a different Volta. That's a different one. All right, I'm in, I'm I'm just gonna uninstall Volta because I don't know why it's. I don't know. I you did that already. I I yeah. Then I reinstalled it. You ever uninstall then reinstall a thing? Mm -mm. Oh, I did that once. I uninstall. We're done, ski. Fritz, thanks for the lurk, buddy. You get the fuck out of here! That's what I say when I uninstall. Oh, okay. What do we got? What are we on? 18.17.1? No, I don't want that one. I want... Good lord, that's that's a lot. That's so many. All right, uh, eighteen dot seventeen dot one. I try to turn it off and on again. Hi Tay. Oh. Well, that didn't work. I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way. Naked. Mm-hmm. And afraid. Ah, uh, yes. A show where I'm supposed to root for these people for some reason. Mm-hmm. That yeah. reason is never explained. No. All right, I'm just going to close this. 10-2-4 is the one I want. Okay. Uh, yeah, fine. Who was the most naked? Um, Loaf. She's only wearing a collar, but she's just a kitten's cat, so she doesn't like wearing clothes. You have to guess behind the blurs. Nice. That's funny. And Bowser, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bowser's number one naked boy. So naked. So naked. Alright, let's, uh... Minimize all my stuff. Curse you, Volta. Uh, okay, node's done. Well, node's mostly done. There we go. Power shell. Yeah, bro, we already have Chocolatey installed. I installed Chocolatey like six years ago. Like perform Peaches Live? No, I didn't. I sure didn't. Like the th the th the thirty seconds of that song that was in the Super Mario Brothers movie was enough for me. Okay. Okay. Waiting for chocolate to finish. So I guess I could just go ahead and open this now. Oh, Python. Don't even want Python. There we go.
And at NPM 10. Previous releases. Wait, it installed Node though, didn't it? Installed an NPM, did it not? I need. Uh, update NPM. Can I do that? No, it's not. No, Dennis, that's. You're making entirely too much sense. That doesn't even make sense. Bootstrappy piece of shit. All right. Absolutely. Did I, Dennis just fix stream? No, but Dennis helped. He's good at that. All right, now Thanks, Dennis. We would be lost without you. It's true. We would. All right, I'm on the correct note at NPM, which is good. No grunt for me. No grunt for me. No grunting. Several grunting. I don't care about this anymore. What's going on over here? Oh, my God. There was a new wedge earlier. Mm -hmm. Random Seinfeld. Oh, Seinfeld. Oh, how far all of you have fallen. Except uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. She's still fine. Like, yeah, what'd she do? Except for her, she's fine. And her boss. He's fine, too. Run last time with four hours, please see a doctor immediately. God damn it. He's been around since like 2022. Oh yeah, though no, that's oh Dennis, yeah, that's bad. You should you should call somebody like a scientist. Or the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, that's also also that. Uh okay. Uh now. Now I can actually start the bot. Which is something I couldn't do. A crack engineer. Oh my god. Uh There we go. And there's my splash screen. I worked with one once. I think we all have. Remember when Dennis fixed your bot? It's like it's like shaking bacon. He helped. Like single handedly by himself. Yes. Logged out because they're out of date. Streamer. Please log in to continue. Okay. Yeah, streamer. Okay. To do to do. Okay, so hey, here's here's a fun thing. Uh, so by the way, Firebot logging in is changing. Um, in before Warder starts yelling. Um, so Firebot login is changing. Uh, Twitch has said that for Electron apps, they need to use a new flow. And there we go. That's it. Not sure that code on. No, the code's fine. Dennis, that code's fine, buddy. It's a one-time use code. It's done. Yeah, okay, but Dennis, then you off under your account, and then you're giving 
Okay, Dennis, that's not the problem that you think it is. It's the reverse problem that you think it is. Because if someone uses that code to log in, they can only log in with their own credentials, and then it logs it logs my Firebot in as them, and then I have access to their account, not the other way around. Mm. So, <laughs> that's fine. I'll access your account. Your face is on access of account. I don't care if that code's on screen. By the time I do it, it's going to be fine. I'm kind of offended by the presence of that code. You are offended by a lot of things, buddy. Well, that's because a lot of things are stupid. Well, you're like 34 eggs. Nervous. I don't know how to tell you this, buddy, but like I got like... 31 at best. That's best I can do is 31 eggs. Now, they're worried that what you heard was they want a lot of bacon and eggs. <laughs> what they said was they would like all of the bacon and eggs you have. And can you take 16? I mean, I don't know. Like, Nervous has already asked for a lot, so... Uh, yeah. Hey, listen. So... Um... So things have changed in the bot. Um, so one login's different. All right. So um, here I'll disconnect from the Twitchins. You can have Dennis's sixteen. Okay. Deal. Deal. Dennis, give all give give the sixteen eggs that I have definitely just given you over to Nervous, and I will give him another four. Um. All right. So let's do this. I'm gonna log out of the bot. I'm gonna log in here. Let's open a new in private window so I can go log in as the bot account. Do 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 do. Do, 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 and authorize. And now that I'm authorized, boom, it refreshes. It knows that I'm authed and everybody's happy. Um, so that's great. Now, here's the big problem with the, the new update. Here's the thing that people are going to be really upset about. Channel rewards that you created with Firebot prior to the new version that's coming out will no longer be able to be edited in Firebot. Let me explain. Via the third-party Twitch API that every not Twitch application uses, um, we have to have a client ID to identify our whatever bot or thing that we are um, to the Twitch API. So here's where things get a little hairy. So just in the last like couple of weeks, uh, Twitch has added a new um, OAuth flow um, to their authentication stuff. Basically, it's just a different way for applications to log in. It's called device code grant flow, okay? Um, that's why there was a code on my screen. Uh, there was also a, um, like if you've ever done something like on a smart TV or gaming console or something, logged into something like Netflix or Hulu or whatever, where it's like, Hey, go to a browser on your phone or whatever, enter this code, log into your account, the exact same thing. Right? So the idea is that, um, the, uh, the device, you get a code instead of having to log in directly on the device. Um, so you don't have to put in your credentials directly. So it's something that's like for a less secure environment. And in this case, um, where is, where do they say? So device code grant flow, uh, use this flow if your app runs on a client with limited input capabilities such as set top boxes or video games. They also say, the hell is it? There it is. Divide, use this if your use this flow if your application has limited input capabilities or lacks a suitable browser, such as set top boxes, games, or electron applications. This is where Firebot comes in. 
So Firebot is an Electron application, which basically is just a fancy way of saying that it's a desktop application where the UI is run by Chrome, right? So this is just this is just basically a fancy Chrome window, is what it is, um, with a lot of the Chromey bits stripped away and just like the rendering engine in here, um, and then a lot of other shit on top of it to make it like a desktop application, which is nice. But also, but the the point is that it's for all intents and purposes, it's Chrome on top and a bunch of other JavaScripty stuff underneath. Um, so because of this, we aren't supposed to distribute a what's called a client or a client secret. Uh, it's electric boogie woogie woogie. Um, so. To work with this, Twitch is like, all right, we have a new authentication flow, the device code grant flow, and if you have an insecure environment, then you're supposed to use this flow. Um, so we use this flow, we get our token, we do our thing. That's great. Unfortunately, the problem is that in using this flow, um, you're supposed to, for us, we you can do either a public or a confidential client type a public or a confidential client type um can maintain a client secret public clients cannot and because we are a application that gets installed locally we are not supposed to distribute a client secret with our application because you can easily just go into a file and grab it because we have to have it in a file to read it um, so we had to change and get a new token that's public. You can't just change the token. You have to get a new one, which means that, or, uh, not token, uh, client ID. So you, we had to get a new client ID, which means that according to Twitch, we're basically a different application. Now we're a totally different. Um, we're a different app. It, it doesn't know that we are Firebot. It just knows that. We are a more different Firebot, just the way it works. In Twitch's API, we go into the API here, and I look. I guess I should change my category now, shouldn't I? I should probably just change it to fucking software and game development. I'm gonna go ahead and change it now. Okay. Yeah, yes, we are Firebot 2 Electric Boogaloo. Um, so when we go to channel points, when we get rewards here, we can get back manageable rewards. Um, the app is identified by the ID and the client ID header. In other words, because we have to change the client ID, we the stuff that you created with old versions of Firebot are no longer manageable by Firebot, which means you can't change things from inside a Firebot, like how many points they cost, the name and description, whether they're enabled or not, whether they're paused or not, stuff like that. So, um, now you'll notice here that I have a couple of rewards here and you can see that it says this reward was created outside of Firebot. Its settings are locked from changes and I need to fix that because that's, I need to update that message. Um, but if I go to edit here, this reward was created either outside of Firebot or by an older version of Firebot. So its settings cannot be changed here. You can however still create effects for it. So you all the stuff that was working before will continue to work except for things that like turn it on or off or change the cost or stuff like that. Like that actually edit the redemption itself. So the, I changed, I changed this Dennis. This is, this is new. This hasn't been changed yet. I got to change that one. I'm the one that changed it. Um, so You'll notice these were these are locked because we know that we can't manage these. However, I'm on all the new stuff and you can see all of these are fine. I went through and already did this. 
what you can do is you can take existing ones. So I'll take this test reward, for example, right? And let's go to edit effects. Let's go add like a um, chat message, test, save it, okay? Now this test reward, you can see I've got the effect in here. I can duplicate this from within Firebot. Um, and when I duplicate it, Firebot will create a new cop. It will create a copy of the reward, a brand new one. You'll notice it doesn't have a lock because Firebot created this new one. And when I go into it, it's got the same effect here that I had before. So you can duplicate it. The only th other thing that you can, that you'll have to do is you can, you have to change the icon on Twitch. They don't give us a way to change the icon via the API. You literally have, you can only do it through the dashboard. Um, and then the only other caveat is if you have an update channel reward effect, um, you have to go in and pick the new one for whatever ones that you have that set up. So that's it. Uh, so look, there's just Mountain Dew burrito to crack open. My good God, Bobo. But the point is, um, the, uh, so there's, you will have to duplicate, like you'll have to do some housekeeping with your rewards. Um, if you have stuff that edits it, or if you want to be able to edit it inside a fire button. But again, I did this in a couple of minutes. Like I have fucking 11 rewards here that I did in the span of like just a few minutes. And most of the time that I spent on this was going back to the dashboard and just putting the icons in place. I know it's a bit of a pain in the ass. There's nothing we can do about it. Twitch says that the new authentication method is what you're supposed to use for Electron apps. And we couldn't reuse our existing client ID. And so there's nothing we could do about it. Um, like we have to, we have to fall in line with, with what Twitch tells us to do. Yeah. The icons and deleting the old rewards take the longest. Yeah, that's it. But again, I have like, um, the old you pick thing where it does all of these things. I can duplicate this. It makes the copy. It has everything. I just have to take copy out of the name, but all of the effects are all there. So I just, you know, go to the dashboard, change the icon, change the name, delete the old one. Not a big deal. It doesn't provide. Well, there you go. Anyway, and telling them you said it was okay to do. No, I didn't. I didn't try that. I'll try that. I'll try that yesterday. Because Krakow told you it was okay. Well, there's your first mistake. Any whoozy whatsy majig. Um, this is uh, this is kind of what what's uh, what's going on here though. Um, so that's the that's the only bad part. Yes, you will have to log out and log back in again to Firebot. It will automatically log you out the first time, but. This comes with refresh tokens, which means that you won't, ha you shouldn't have to log in again or re-log in again, unless there's new features that we develop for Firebot that require additional permissions from Twitch. And then, um, we'll automatically log you out anyway for another month. Dennis, don't, don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Actually, let me go see. Did I? Oh, that's the Crackers bot. Where's the? Where's Firebot? Go here. I can just close that for now. Oh nope. Yep. Off. Switch off. Uh, I even added some new stuff in here to prepare for stuff. Eventually, we will get the ability to know when ad breaks and stuff are happening in Firebot. We don't have it yet, but it's on our list. How about now?
No. No one Twitch says we're going to add here without your permission. Well, so here's the thing. Uh, let's go to the API and look at this. Uh, subscription types, channel ad break, a mid-roll commercial break has started running either manually or automatically via ad manager. Now, if you have, if you have pre-rolls, this doesn't do anything about pre-rolls because pre-rolls are on a per user basis. This is only when mid-roll stuff happens on the stream. Um, oh, Viv, it doesn't work. Viv, do it again. Viv, do it again. Also, that can work now. There we go. There you go. You got the tail oh. end of it. Yep. Uh, let's go here. This needs to refresh. Reverse. Reverse. I'm working on it. Reverse. Reverse. Let's try this one last time. Reverse. Damn it. Reverse. It's probably because I had the goddamn thing open. Uh, where's the... What's your deal? Is a very angry phone call for you, your ex-wife? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, maybe she shouldn't have said awful things about you and been generally terrible. Ah, fantastic. Uh, all right, that's... Listen to all the things that are happening now. This is great. Next year, send her a harmonica. Oh, my and God. An accordion, and then the bagpipes. <laughs> it's great. Recorded practice at home, right? I, I mean, it seems like a logical thing to me. You're just in. You're what you're doing is cultivating her art, artistic talent. Well, this is very angry at me. And like, if that should happen to inconvenience anyone else in the home, that can't be helped. It's part of the process. It's part of the process. It's certainly. Not anything petty and shouldn't be considered such. This shows on the top sheet, doesn't it? It does show on the top sheet. What the hell? But also, besides the point of all of those things, fuck her. Well, she should have thought about that before she was terrible to you, buddy. Yep. Tell her if she doesn't like it to stuff it up her ass and learn a new way to play it. Um, let's see. Why is my overlay working? Mm. Mm. Probably, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah. Scream or uh, yell or whatever the hell. Your other vocal things don't work on your grunt. You're thinking thing. of grunt. No, no, no. Grunt works fine now. No. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. I wonder if, wonder if I broke something. Uh, where's WebSocket? 
Don't, let's see. Ah. Uh, best friend's wife had some drama with their spawn point this weekend, removing a holiday card. Spawn point is just great to me. I love that. I just said spawn point and a glitter bomb. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. All right. All right, where's the bot? Did the message come through? I don't... Uh, I'm just, I'm just testing this on my end to see, you know, this actually fucking works. Alright, um. It's supposed to show on the top sheet, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this isn't good. You know, in general. Did we, did, did I break What's this? What's all this wee business? Uh, that's better. You stuff that. Oh my god. Loaf has gotten even cozier. Oh. Look at that cozy oh. cat. Number one cozy oh. cat right there. Very cozy, very kitty. Love that kitty's mm -hmm. cat. She looks very comp. Very much. Nice, Tay. Congrats, buddy. I gotta, I gotta do my. I, I would have done it tonight, but like tonight, I'm just, I'm beyond <laughs> my ability to deal with multiple streams tonight. Um. Okay, so for some reason, uh, it's not sending messages across to the WebSocket. Now we got to debug this. Let's go figure out what exactly is happening. Um, all right, backend effects built-in show image. All right, this is where we are. Trigger event. All right. We're not getting there. I don't like that. Are we not getting there or is it? I mean, I'm attached to it. Hey, what? What are you kids doing in my house? Uh oh, hi, Krakow. How are you? God damn it, Krakow. What? What did you find out? Viv, if you injured yourself again, so help me God. <sighs> Krakow, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. comes with the Bloomin' Onion has copious amounts of cayenne pepper in it. Oh, yeah. Um, Viv, do not inhale the Bloomin' Sauce. Hope this helps. What? I mean, it's delicious, though. I mean, it, yeah, but like, don't like, 
inhale it though don't breathe it no 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 i agree it's not oxygen yeah so. no it's not no i'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue that point why is it on trigger event but it not is delicious a dot on tree that's more that's more better okay <laughs> okay this is this is better this is better well she knows what she did Krako. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, no, that that cracko that tracks, buddy. Santa sees her when she's playing Mario Kart. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't know that I like that this isn't breaking on this break point here. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. Bean is ruthless when it comes to Mario Kart. Bless you, I think. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Bean is ruthless. She's very, very good. Hi, Root. Uh, we did. We did actually reach our goal. Uh, where did we end up? Um, give me a minute. Let me go look. Uh, we ended up at... 5135 of our $5,000 goal. So thank you again for your contributions. I appreciate that. Well, welcome in. It's good to see you. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why things aren't working. All right, let's go... Let's edit the break point. No. Okay. Why don't you work? What sound? Well, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Bobo, yes, I'm extremely excited for the 27th. Where's my, do I have my button? Where's my button? Uh, listen. Wrong ass motherfucker. Uh, Krakow's doing this, his second gingerbread stream on the 27th. He's gonna make a gingerbread house. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the original Gingerbread House stream, um, Oof. wow, I have never seen someone struggle with something more in my entire life than Krakow trying to build a Gingerbread House. It's and hilarious. And he was sober then. So he, he might be this time. Yeah, this is going to be who boy. Yeah, and Bobo is going to help this time, so this could really go either way. All right, let's see that, and I need to play sound. 
All right. Let's edit this breakpoint. Fact.type. Yeah. Okay, that's good. All right, so. Okay, this works. Reverse! 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 Oh, uh, what the fuck just happened? Oh, it just freaked out for a second. I wouldn't worry about it. So I want to know why this isn't... What's the effect list here? All right, we're gonna just bulldoze through this for a second. Effect is active, so we just step out of that. All right, uh, that's... Our trigger not supported, oh. All right. This is the stuff that, all right, well, we're, effect ID, uh, I think it's show image. Oh wait, no, it's not dot, it's colon. Right? Yep. All right, let's go and triggers. Dependencies, overlay, okay. Now we're gonna go here. All right, this was today's stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me go grab the doo doo. All right, we're going to do a little bit of stuff here. So I didn't break this one's not on me. This one I'm blaming on Biggs. Bobo, thank you for the lurk. Oh, yeah, Dennis, for sure. Well, this is why this is why this is going into beta for a while. Oh, by the way, Dennis, I fixed the thing where uh, nightlies don't update to the newest. Uh, um, no, this is no, that's Biggs with an S. So this is we're talking about Biggs with a Z. Anyway, nightlies will update to the next uh, main flow build now, so that's all fixed. Um, yes, yeah, Zbigs, that's right. Zigs. Uh, all right, well, we're going to fix overlays while we're here. Um, all right, I want to go back to... Holy shit, it's Karen Day. Karen Day? I love Karen Day. 
I'm sorry, Karen. It's too late. I've already said it. You can't do anything about it. Neener, neener, neener. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Let's go to the tape. Let's go to the buffet. Oh, love that. I still love it's you shitty. more, so, ha. Huh. Get there's wrecked shitty or whatever. There's buffet, there's hog trough. Oh, God. Breakfast buffet. Um, not if you're intending to stay up for the entire night. I mean, yeah, Dennis, if you're pulling an all-nighter, pal, I gotta tell you, that's probably what's gonna happen. All right, oh, this. man. Now, here's a fella who would have really enjoyed the first part of the stream. Oh. Hi, CKY. Hey, buddy. Thanks, uh... <laughs> here's a guy. Here's a guy. <laughs> Hi, CKY. Uh, hey, listen, um, so alerts aren't working right now. Um, we are in, we are in what you call low power mode. We're in safe mode right now. Um, basically Frankenstein's monster has turned on him. I told you it's not that anymore. It never stopped being that. Oh, okay, that's fair. Welcome in from the CKY raid. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Underscore. Um, I'm a uh, I'm a variety streamer. I do some gaming. I do a little bit of software engineering. As you can see, I'm working on stuff here. In fact, I'm currently working on Firebot. I didn't break alerts, Zara. And this is only in our dev build right now. This isn't. This isn't out. Yeah, I broke it before. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I've been break. Listen, buddy, if anybody's gonna break it, I'm gonna I'm manually booting from the BIOS. Yes, absolutely. Yes, grab a floppy disk because we need to boot from floppy. Ah, uh, but welcome in everyone. I I hope you're having a good day. My alerts are busted at the moment. Um. Ooh. Biggs is on it. Let's see what we got here. All right, so he pulled that out for now. So here's what was happening. Um, so Biggs went through and did a lot of great stuff today working on um, dependencies for um, for, uh, effects or actions. Um, yes, Tay, you did. Well done. Um, we don't boot from flop anymore. We can, we could. Anyway, uh, Biggs was working on some stuff for, um, for handling dependencies and effects and adding some, just like really great, just really great. Um, and in that, there's just we have an a, an, uh, a dependency on overlays. He didn't account for in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the bot. Uh, I'm just going to like. Undo my fucking changes, man. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna go. Tay, hey, thanks for the lurk, buddy. I got a USB floppy drive in the uh in the closet there. It works. We're gonna pull Biggs's fix down. Um I'm going to npm install again. 
that's good. This worked really well last time. So yeah, it'll be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Beverly's got broken even more. What do you mean got broken even more? They were fine before. Remember that underlay? <laughs> nice, Tawny. Hi, Tawny. Tawny out here with with the ducking, sending me unsolicited duck pics. They're my favorite ones. Just pictures of Viv? Yes. Also, fuck you, Viv. You got me into a strong independent effect that don't need no... They really do? Yes. Something like that. Almost entirely that. All right. Let's, uh... Let's roll it up again. Let's go. Well, you should get food, CKY. Hey, CKY, have you considered getting food? You should probably do that. It's one of the building blocks of living. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah That yeah. goes for all, Leah, by the way, not just CKY. Also, yes. If, if you didn't eat, eat. We had snooshi for your, dinner. Uh, for drink your waters, do your meds, all that stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mississippi mud pie, bro, eat the pie. Eat the pie. Go eat the pie. God, that sounds delicious. Any Listen, any kind of pie with chocolate in it, man, I'm all about it. Had snooshi too? Nice. Yeah, Viv, Viv, uh, Viv kind of overdid it on the... Uh, the bloomin' sauce today, so he's... Oh, hey, the bot's back online. How can you tell? Uh, it's just a hunch. It's just a hunch that I have. Um, what else are we... <laughs> oh, hello? <laughs> Put out fires. <laughs> Zero just roasted you. Let's just go here... I'm just going to close everything to the right. Thanks for the free hoppers, Dennis. Reverse. Reverse. Oh, wait. Reverse. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, beautiful. What the hell just happened there? It was on a break point, so, like, it freaks out when it's on a break point. Oh. So like when it comes back from the break point, it's just like, oh God. So like if I do it now, just manually, now that it, there's no break point and it's just running. Reverse. 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 Okay, now that's fucked up. I don't know why it's doubling. Oh, I know why it's doubling. Reverse. No. Reverse. Why? Does the yay not work? Dennis, OBS hasn't changed, pal. It didn't... Oh, shit. Let me reconnect. Double it and give it to the next under. Yeah, right. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because I have a second. Reverse. Reverse. There we go. That's why. I had a second instance of it up. You dildo. Yeah, yeah I sure am. Yep, there we go. All right, I fixed it. Don't worry. It's fine. Every, everything's fine. We're good. Everything's good. We're all good here. We just... We just, uh, where's the yay? Yay! I fixed everything. Did I fix everything? I fixed it. And by I, I mean Biggs fixed it. Yeah, I haven't done, I, I've done everything, I've done nothing and everything is great. All right, Biggs pulled down. Where's the other? He has a new commit. So let's see his new commit. Uh, 
Uh, he pulled... Okay, he deprecated the overlay. Overlay dependency. I love that, love that. I love that he put it in the in there. That's perfect. That's great. Experience on a manager's workload? No. No. Okay, we're all... Everything's good. Everything is great and fine and wonderful. We're all good. Everything is, is fixed. Nothing is fucked. Uh, where's for the... For now. For now. Where's my debug console? Um, all right, let's go here. Uh, where's my... Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. <laughs> Dennis, thank you for the Prime sub. I love that it... I saw the... Th I, I saw it in here and it registered in my head. I'm like, huh? Dennis, thank you for the Prime sub for four months, buddy. I really, really appreciate that. Um, let me go to my overlays and refresh the sidebar. All right, sidebar is working again. We're back. We're back, baby. All right, everything is back to where it's supposed to be. Beautiful. All right, I don't need this for right now. So, um, Viv, <laughs> Viv, we know about the blooming Onion, but... What, uh, what else? Oh yeah, what else did you have, buddy? Alright. So let's see, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go look at that one pull request I did, cause boy howdy, that was a pull request. So today, today I got to put in my changes for the event sub stuff that I have been working on for the last over a year now. Um, I started working on this just before last year's stream anniversary because Twitch had just released support for their first party charity tools um, for third party developers to be able to consume. Um, wait, they were out of pasta? How are they out of pasta? Um, so I've been working on this for like a year, over a year now. Um, Cause I got, I like, I very quickly, like the day of, um, or like the day before I got the charity events working over events of beta uh, or events of WebSocket beta in Firebot. Like it was strung the fuck together, but it worked. It worked, and we raised a bunch of money for um, Able Gamers that day. That was fantastic. Um, tastes like TV static. Yes, it does. Uh, so I've been working on the event sub stuff like little by little for the last, like I said, over a year. Uh, I ended up with uh, adding almost 2,800 lines of code, removing almost 700 and um yeah that's a lot 86 files changed like i touched a bunch of fucking code like created a bunch of new stuff moved some stuff around refactored a bunch of stuff like a lot of shit happened in here so the next release of firebot is actually going to have this massive set of changes to it um new effects that we're going to have around creating polls and predictions or creating and managing polls and predictions, uh, new events for channel goals, polls, predictions, hype train, which if you've been here, you know that I've got hype train alerts set up. That's all been through Firebot. Um, when the stream starts and ends charity campaign stuff, and then shout outs being sent from your channel and received from another channel when someone shouts you out uh, using the fancy Twitch shout out. Uh, new variables to go along with a bunch of this stuff. Um, did a bunch of refactoring. So like for new followers, we used to do a thing where we would check the API manually to see when someone would follow. 
there's an event for that in event sub now raids we were getting through chat that's now through event sub um stuff triggered by pub sub um that's now available through event sub like cheers um channel reward redemptions and then like moderator stuff like bans timeouts and unbans um, updated some variables to give them a little bit of um additional context for things yeah the follow poll's gone follow poll here you go i i pulled the follow poll out a long time ago um but what that means uh basically what it means is where in the hell was it um there it is so we used to have a file we used to have a routine that what would happen is when you started when you connected to twitch every what was it five seconds every 10 seconds every 10 seconds we would check the twitch api and say hey have i gotten any new followers you would just go and look and see and be like all right this is the last one i got and uh have there been new ones okay mm. and it works kind of but not really uh it's 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 such a pain in the ass because we're doing a lot of manual stuff and checking the api and things can get out of order and blah 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 it's not great now we have an event sub event for it so we come down where's my event sub client oh this is a large diff that's why yeah this is a f can i just let me just go to the file so in the event sub client what we do is or i could do it i guess i could just do it here since i'm here that makes sense uh here. twitch api event sub event sub client okay so here what we do is um for event sub we have this event sub websocket listener um and we just start it up and then we subscribe to all of these events so stream on and offline and then follows that's it we just have a follow and it just tells us who followed the channel so that we know and we can do whatever actions we want to with it um cheers if there are bits channel rewards raids shout outs sent shout outs received hype train stuff all that stuff we just we just add a subscription to it. And then what we can do in Firebot is take that data and then trigger the internal handlers for all that stuff. Hello. I did. She's already loving her new little couch. Very cozy. She's the coziest cat. Very cozy. She's the best one. I love you. Um. So yeah, like uh, there's just all the stuff that we do now, which is really, really nice. Cozy loaf. Oh, it's so nice. Everything's working again. Love this for me. Um, oh, Viv, would you like to see loaf content? Okay. Look, there's loaf on her new little couch. But only because you properly got a potato like a good boy. That's true. That's true. We'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. And then here is Loaf even cozier on the couch. And shit on his desk? Yes, I do. It's true. No, I don't. I would never. Look, you can even see... You can even see where's my where's the overhead camera. You can see there. I don't shit on my desk, although I do keep balls on my desk. So okay, so EP, so EP, just EP baby. She's been so 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 sneaky this weekend. Such a cuddle cat. She got in my lap last night after dinner, and like she like curled like she she squished into me. She could not have been closer to me. If she wanted to, she was extremely snuggly. Just number one cuddle cat in there. She's not so sleepy. She's just laying and checking out. She's like, "Oh, this is very nice couch. Very nice things." You, you you put a couch on my couch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, CKY. So subs. Um, let's go up to chat. 
Twitch chat. Wait, no. Uh, chat listeners, Twitch chat listeners. So, subs are still in chat. And the reason why is uh, they're still in IRC because... Um, actually, our... Where are regular subs? Are regular subs in pub sub? Whispers come in from pub sub. Oh, subway. So regular subs are in pub sub. And then everything else, resubs, community gift subs, um, individual gift subs, paid upgrades, and prime paid upgrades are all through IRC still. <clears throat> so, no. Uh, this will not fix it. So here's the problem, CKY. So let's go to event sub. Let's look at our subscription types. So, channel subscribe. Uh, sends a notification when a specified channel receives a subscriber. This does not include resubs, which there's a separate resub one. Okay, and let's go and look at the event data. The event data here for the subscribe event is we get the user information about who subscribed. We get the broadcaster information about whose channel they subscribe to, whether or not it's a gift sub. And then the tier. The problem is tiers are 1,000, 1, 2, and 3. These don't... Uh, yes, Miss Violet. Fire, Firebot is all fixed and ready and, and running. Thanks to Dennis. Thanks mostly to Dennis. And also Biggs. Um... So when we get the subscribe event, we get a tier as either 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000. There's no prime. So we have no idea whether this 1,000 is a prime or not. Yes, Zbigs, yes. Now, here's, here's kind of the thing with that, right? There is a new chat notification that comes in that in the chat notification, Basically, all of the the non-message, should we care? Yes, CKY, we absolutely should care because people have conditions on whether or not subs are prime. Um, and we're not going to take away functionality un unless Twitch takes it away. Um, so there is an event sub event for chat notifications, things that are in chat that are not messages, right? Um, so we have... Notice types, subs, resubs, gift subs, community gift subs, paid upgrades, prime paid upgrades, and that's all of the stuff that we're still depending on either pub sub or chat for for those. Uh, raids and unraids are here. Uh, pay it forward, um, which is when someone gifts a sub to someone. So person A gifts a sub to person B, and then person B gifts a sub to someone else. That's the pay it forward. Announcement. Bits badge tier unlocks, which we are still using pub sub for, I believe, and charity donations, which show up in chat as well. Now here in sub, we have a flag to indicate whether or not it is a prime sub because the sub tier of 1000, the tier one that it tells us in the API can either be a paid or a prime, but this has a flag for it. So we will eventually use the chat notification event because we're going to consume that anyway as part of our move to event sub for chat um, when we get that later, right? Um, but we will eventually get that through event sub. However, this doesn't exist in Twerple yet. Twerple is the software library that Firebot uses to interface with Twitch. Um, nothing wrong with a prime sub at all. Not at all. Um, so Twerple doesn't support this yet. It doesn't have anything in for it yet, which means we also cannot use this yet unless we were to write our own manual thing for it, which this is a lot. So there's subs, resubs, and again, whether or not it's prime. So for like Dennis's resub a few minutes ago with his prime sub, 
that would have come in here and we would have gotten his um cumulative would have been four sub tier would have been a thousand is prime would have been true right um and this also accounts for gift subs so if someone like has a multi-month um like say you give like three months of tier one to someone and they come back in the second month and do their thing in chat this will or this would say yes this is you know on month uh whatever blah 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 that shows up here we have regular sub gifts community gifts now here's what's fun okay we have stuff in firebot today to help determine like to kind of help prevent issues with community gift subs flooding alerts dennis has worked on this so he understands it very well um, basically what we do is we try to detect when a get a community sub gift, like a gift, uh, a sub gift bomb has happened and then take the immediate events that happen after that and swallow the, like the individual events so that it doesn't necessarily like, um, uh, flood you with like, say someone, like someone goes in and does something ridiculous, like gifts 20 subs. A lot of streamers would prefer to have one alert for the 20 bomb than 20 individual alerts. This chat notification is going to have a community gift ID or it does because it's out now. This has a community gift ID on it that will tell you, hey, this is part of a community gift and you can take and basically swallow these automatically and say, okay, I know this is part of the community gift and if I don't want to you know, trigger individuals for it, I know that I have this that triggers and it's done. So that's going to make that easier for us to handle on our side, because we will know that if it has this value, it's part of a, uh, a big, you know, community gift. So but the point is there's all this great stuff that's happening. That's coming into, um, that's coming into, uh, event sub and that's in event sub. Now we just don't have the ability to consume it yet because it's not in the library that we use. Um, and again, the subscribe event doesn't tell us whether or not it's prime. Unfortunately, really wish they just had that on there. That's honestly like the only thing that's really missing is, is that so I guess also the number of months too, but it is what it is, but it's fine. We got so much stuff that got added in this release or that's, that's, that got added for this upcoming release. Um, a lot of stuff got optimized. Like I moved a bunch of shit around and refactored a bunch of code. So that's fun. Um, I've actually been really enjoying that. We're cleaning up things a lot kind of starting to silo off the Twitch stuff on its own where it needs to be. Like I'm, you know, I'm really happy about it, but it's, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot that's, that's gone into this. So I'm a lot of work befitting a CEO. Oh my God. CEOs don't do work. So I'm really happy with this. I'm, I'm like super, super happy. Be available in the settings tab, man. I really wish we used this anywhere, but we do not. I don't know if that ever like ever got implemented. I don't know.
An example of global settings like anywhere. Yeah, well, global settings. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. That's the thing. I'm. That's. I'm. I'm. Dennis. I'm almost certain uh, that. Um, that was one of those. Hey, we intend to do this at some point, and it just never happened. Like I, I almost guarantee it. No, I haven't had that problem at all, Miss Violet. Nine gigs, only seventy percent over an hour. Oof. Yeah, that's. That's that's a big Yankee. Oh yeah, Dennis, we we got that fixed. We we got the tab spaces with we got the four space thing back. One point two meg second. Jeez, that's ungood. Yeah, that's uh, it's it's not fast. I'll leave that up. Well, wait, is someone trying to use the phone? Maybe Microsoft hates Canada. That's also p potentially an issue, yes. MS servers are bad. Well, it depends on what you're doing, Dennis. It's not that the servers are bad, it's that they throttle them. I mean, they've got, they've got Azure data centers in like, I don't know, like 40 fucking regions now. Isn't Honestly, there one under the sea? There was. There was one under the sea. Uh, here, well, let's see. Project. Project Natick. Uh, so, they had this thing called Project Natick, where they tested it on, like, off the coast of California, I believe, and then they did it off the coast of Scotland, where they made this self-contained data center. And they just, they put the hardware in, they sealed this son of a bitch up, and they dropped it in the water. And it was filled with nitrogen, so it didn't get as, like, it didn't expand or heat up quite as much. Um, and it also uh, used the natural seawater to keep it cool, to as opposed to, like, air cooling and shit like that. Because they wanted to see what, like, the environmental impact would be. They had a live camera on it for a while, where you could go and just, like look at the different camera views around it and like over time uh like it was there was like all the shit growing on it and like all the fish around it was great i loved it and see data center between two continents right in the middle to reduce latency or reduce average latency that'd be pretty cool nine lonely unused megabits yeah, yeah, Project Natick was a really cool thing. Um, it was really, really cool. Like, several years ago when I was working at the um, an old job, there were a couple of us that were in an office together all day. Uh, and we would just have, like, we had this one PC that was off to the side that was just, like, our spare. And we would have it up just playing, like, streams of whatever just to have something in the background. And a lot of times we had the Project Nat Natick live cams up. It was so fun just to see it and why'd, watch it. Why'd they take it down? Like, why'd, why'd they stop? It was an, it Basically, it was, like, a... Um, it was a test to see how it would go. Um, the idea too being that like they would put it down there, they leave it down there for like five years and they wouldn't bring it up again until it was time to upgrade hardware, right? And do like maintenance on it. Cause like, you know, you got to think it's on a regular data center, you go and you walk in the data center, you can change out shit as you need to. And something like this, the idea is you get this bad boy set up, you seal it, and then you drop it in the water and you don't take it out again because taking it out of the water, waiting for it to dry, depressurizing, all that kind of shit, that's a lot more effort, but you get a lot more long-term, theoretically long-term benefits out of it. Um, so it was a test to see how it would do with like the uh, environment around it. But I don't know, like, uh, yeah, see, so like they say, what is Project Natick here? Let me get, let me put the link in chat. Um, so what is Project Natick? Why? Benefits, blah, blah, blah. Uh, currently at the research stage, still early days in evaluating whether this concept could be adopted by Microsoft and other cloud service providers. Um, so yeah. It seems like it could be, yes, yes. And it dep that all depends on how it could, how it affects the environment around it, right? It's like, we don't, 
we don't know. I mean, obviously they are all they're still crunching, you know, the in, the data on it to figure out how good or bad this could be. Um, but won't someone think of the dolphins? Dolphins are assholes. They're terrible anyway. <laughs> the horses of the sea. The horses of the sea. It's true. Yeah, it's it was a really cool concept. Like it's a super cool concept. Um Like just looking at it, and like you can see they pull one up and it's just got, you know, I mean it's under the water. So it's just got shit all over it. But yeah, here they are like loading one of these things up with all the hardware and stuff. There it is, like, going into the water. And there it is, like, little data center capsule. The micro, yeah, the big-ass Microsoft logo on the side of it, yeah. Yeah. I think this was the Phase 1 one. I think this was the original one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the that's the phase one one that was off the coast of I want to say California, and the phase two one was off the coast of Scotland. Uh, and part of the reason when they did it off the coast of Scotland, I think, was because they wanted to take advantage of a lot of the renewable electricity that was there. Um, so, oh yeah, absolutely dream job kind of shit. Like <laughs> we. We drowned a data center. What did you do this this year? Yeah, that's a kind of, boy. Boy howdy. Boy howdy. <coughs> there you go. There's a No, go back. No, damn it. Where was it? There you go. There's like an exposed view of the whole thing with all the data center pieces in there and like fan the rays and the end of the capsule and shit like that. And then the power array at the end there. It's just, it's so fucking cool. Hello. What, Hello. You, what you doing, baby? You want some pets? Come on. Well, I'm here. A chirp a chirp. What you doing? Hi. You want to say hello to friends? Or are you not feeling it? Not feeling it right now? Okay. I love you. Can I have a kisses? Oh, there's a good snuggle. Thank you. Very snuggly. Did you hear her little jingle jangle? Mm. Little jingle. She's the jingliest and also jangliest. It's too hot, chirp. What you doing? She was yelling at being in the kitchen at lunch today. Probably because Bean was making chimkins. You wanna come here? Come here? No? Okay. I love you. You my best kitten's cat? Yeah, he's very sweet. She's very good. Yeah, she's oh, that's a good snuggle. Thank you. I love I love uh Lamp. Yes, also that. But like, I love when like cats like they do the thing where they take their like you put your hand down to pet them and they take their head and they nuzzle up into your hand. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh heck, give a give a pets. Oh, you want some pets? Yeah, you gonna get in your chair? Strawberries in the chair. You wanna see strawberry? Oh, that's a meow. You yes, should love strawberry. Oh, thank you. Oh, she's so snuggly. What a sweet girl. Go get in your chair. You get in the chair? Yeah, you gotta go get in it. Okay. She's rubbing her head on boxes. She's just doing doing her thing, doing her kitty cat thing. Um so anyway. Uh I'm I'm really excited about all the stuff that's coming in the next version of uh a firebot and um oh what's firebot oh it's just this little thing don't worry about it she really rarely nuzzles herself she stands with her head pressed on your hand waiting for you to fish it like the nice nice 
Um, but yeah, I've also been going through and like re, uh, redoing a bunch of stuff. I thought about taking all of the Twitch like actions and variables and stuff and putting them into the integration manager like that, but version five is just not built for that shit. Yeah, um, oh, that reminds me, um, let's go look at those tabs to the right. Go look at the nightly. Oh, uh, that built an hour ago, but that, I don't know that that had Biggs' changes. Or all of Biggs' changes. Let's go look at... No, it didn't. All right, let's go rebuild the nightly. Go rebuild your nightly. I'll nightly your rebuild. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's that's hurtful. She's under the de under her chair. Huh? Are you making tiny biscuits? Or are you doing tiny biscuits on the bag? Oh my goodness! Oh, oh. God, she's that's <laughs> what? Oh boy, that's hurtful. What? Well, Nerdin started it. Oh boy. She shared a meme that says, "If you were born before 1990." You are now older than Marv was in Home Alone. And that was hurtful enough. But then Tug shared that he heard one yesterday that if you were born before 1984, you are older than Mr. Belding was in season one of Saved by the Bell. <laughs> well, buddy. Um... Ow. Yeah. That's <clears throat> ow. <laughs> Congratulations on your new principal job, I guess. That's ages of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, who the fuck chose violence today? Oh, people in Tug's Discord. That's pretty much, yeah. Uh, Ow. Yeah, well, that'll happen. Uh, this is an attack on me personally. Yeah, uh, that sounds about right. <gasps> Who's that? Is it Bean? Is that Bean? What's Bean doing? No loafs. Keep snuggling boxes. Continue with Firebot nightly builds. Windows takes by far the longest. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Listen, it's fine. Dennis, it's fine. It only takes a few minutes. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, so I can close that, because I know that works now. That's good. Um... I know you have no patience. Boy, howdy, do I know it. Yeah, this... Like, other than the, the changeover from Mixer to Twitch, this might be the biggest release of Firebot. Just about ever. But we didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. Well... Man, I'm really tempted to s just to, like, I want to see. I want to see what the diff is. I want to see how how much there is. What's the diff? A uh, hundred and twenty nine files changed. Um, does it say how many? Four thousand three hundred and eighty two lines added, one thousand five hundred and twenty nine deleted. Deleted. That's a lot of dimp. Until version six. Well, version six is version six we're gonna kind of blow away the master branch and build a new one. We might migrate to a main by then. I don't know yet. Hit the deleted button? Okay. Deleted. Look, it works. Things work around here. Every day. Okay. Uh, 
I didn't say they work all day. I said they work every day. It's like rain in Florida in the summer. It always rains in Florida in the summer. It rains every single day. If only for five minutes, it still does it. Oh, man. I kind of want a steak. Oh. Every time Viv talks, I want a steak. I have steak in the fridge downstairs I'm making this week. Nice. We got sweet potatoes. Uh, we got... I have some cherry tomatoes that I'm going to put in a little, maybe do in the pan, blister them up a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit of garlic, a little bit of butter. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, let's see. Ubuntu's done. What are you checking out when you get the chance, Viv? I want to know. I want to know. My ass. The local place called the dog house. Ooh. Oh. That sounds sausagey. Oh, it sure does. It sure does. Uh, I'm into it. And I'm, I'm already there. Uh, I haven't been to the hot dog stand since all the stuff with the buyout and everything. I should go. Mm. I haven't been there. In, it's been months. I don't know that I've been to the hot dog stand since I went on sabbatical. Oh my god, that's why everything's gone to shit. Honestly, if you went <laughs> if you went to the hot dog stand tomorrow and then suddenly like booked business and like all of like this crazy shit started happening, like it's the hot dog stand. Everything surrounds the hot dog stand. And now we're waiting on windows again. Yeah, it's fine. I have never, I've never had enough hot dogs. I will be, I will be a hundred and I could eat hot dogs at every meal until I turn 100 years old. And I still will not have had enough hot dogs. Your throttling Windows update download speeds in your Windows. Oh, yes. That does apply to Windows Store downloads. Yes. That does absolutely apply to those. Well, there you go. That's good. There you go. Nice. Oh, hello, Gadget. How are you doing, buddy? We're just, uh, we're building the latest nightly for Firebot because Firebot's got a lot of stuff. Yep, Windows Store, same, it's it's all the same in the back end, it's just a different... <laughs> you leave my back end alone. Uh, you, but, but it's a sweet, sweet back end. You're not wrong. Uh. Different URL, different install location. It's all the same on the back end. Uh, I wonder if I still have. Did I ever move that over? I don't know. Let me go look at my repos. Uh, wait, well, let me look at. M no, I want to look at my repos. Oh, well, then you should go to the repo depot. <laughs> uh, do I have any of this in here? Hey, look, it's my fork of the, sh the ship of Harkinian. Ooh. Oh God, that, what are you going to do with that? That didn't age well. I started working on some of the UI stuff. I was going to add a thing to make the UI where like, remember I had having a squint at it. Cause like everything in the UI is this big. Um, mm. I was going to make it like give an option where you could double the size of the UI, but it's in C. So I didn't finish it. It's okay. I'll get there eventually. Um, Firebot plugins, blah, blah, blah. I don't know that I actually have this stuff over here. Uh, let me come, let me see. Does this work? <gasps> yeah, it does. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's look at all of my fucking stuff. Where's, uh, God, I have all these projects. 
So I used to have this thing, uh, the Windows Store API. Now this was way back in the day. Um, and this is still back when I was using uh, uh, TFS instead of Git. But I built an API wrapper uh, around the Windows Store back in the Windows 8 and 8.1 days um, so that you could get like you could pull stuff from the uh, the the Windows Store just like metadata on apps and shit and, and get links and everything and what was fun was I had apps for I had an app for Windows Phone because at the time when one Windows Phone was still a thing, two the store the Windows Store on PC and the Windows Store on phone were different, and they had different apps even though you could publish them together. It was really weird. Um, <clears throat> so I had an app for Windows Phone that you could open up and browse the PC store and grab the link for the app and everything on. And it used this library that I built cause I fucking scraped the API and figured out a lot of the models and shit around it. So like there's a store app and there's like all these fucking things about it and like all this shit. Blah, blah, blah. So I built all this shit out. It was, it was my friend and it served me well back in those days. It was a cool app. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Um, there was a thing. What, what, what the hell did I call it? It's a windows store companion or something. I, I think so. Yeah. Uh, There we go. Yeah, it actually got featured on Windows Central way back in the day. So this is this is a screenshot of my app here. Uh, odds are, if you're rocking a Windows 8, and you want a Windows Phone device. If that's you, you want it to blah blah blah, yada yada. Bless you. Uh oh, do I have? Do I not have fucking ads blocked on this page still? I gotta, I gotta turn that back on. And yeah, we'll, we'll turn that back on on this page because their stuff has gotten really bad lately. Um, let's see, blah 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 blah. So yeah, this was my, uh, this was the store companion thing that I made. It was fun. Um, let's see, there's a thing, there's my Reddit post about it. Hold on. WP Central. Blah, 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 you know. So, I was cool. Actually, working on that helped get me a job. So, a job that I ultimately ended up leaving because it was a toxic work environment, but I took some of their money when I left, so, you know, that was fun. This is, boy howdy, this is way back in the day. Wonder if this just like, oh, it just redirects now? Oh, that's, that's fair. But yeah, this is my this is my little guy. You could even like NFC. So if you wanted to share the link like via NFC and tap to a device and just send it to a friend, you could do it that way. Open source portfolio could one day help you land a job. And absolutely can, Dennis. It absolutely can. People look for that shit. That's why I'm glad to work on Firebot. Like while I'm in the middle of like, do I need paying work? Yes. You're goddamn right I do. I got bills to pay just like everybody else. But in the meantime, 
Am I happy to work on Firebot and say, hey, look, I do things? Uh, yes, I'm also happy to do that too. Plus, it gives me a sense of fulfillment. I really enjoy it. And it's a great way to stay in shape. It's a great way to stay in shape. Yep. So, that's my Windows Store API wrapper thingy majig that I wrote. It was, uh, it was neat. Back in the day. All right. Build's done. Uh, I got the latest. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, Dennis. You got you got your nightly. So go break it. I wonder why that doesn't work anymore. Build's done. Everyone go home. Yeah, pretty much. Builds haunted. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cox gun. <laughs> Builds haunted. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Another video related patch where you can deploy it on the streamer's prod setup. Oh. What'd you break now, Dennis? God damn it, Dennis. Dennis keeps Dennis keeps breaking shit just so he can fix it. That's what I'm convinced of. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. It's okay, Dennis. I do the same thing. And in greater numbers. Oh boy. Um. I was using variables and just really position and video size. Oh. Miss Violet, you have a wonderful evening. It's good to see you as always. Good evening, Miss Violet. Use a single value video effect rather than hundreds. No. How to properly upstream it. And just get like a paddle and get like in a kayak or a canoe. You know. Kayaks are fun because you got like just like zoop into the little hole. I mean, if you need more open space around you, you get the get the canoe, but you know. And then you just paddle in the uh, opposite direction that the water is flowing, and that's how you go upstream. You that's a paddling. The currents are too strong? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. How long before I redo this? How many lines is this? 326. I got 20 minutes. Well, you better get cracking. Uh, he was already here. Let's crack. Oh. Oh, I see. Kraken. <laughs> they only call him Kraken at Sunday school. Oh my. I can do it. Okay, we're gonna do it. Uh do I have where's my types? Okay, we're gonna make a new type def for this. Timers dot Yep. Okay. Oh, that only happens in here. Okay, well then, hell yeah, let's go. Uh, okay, first we're gonna move this. Um, man, I wish there was an easy way to do this. Whoa! Eh, cool! That's, that was easy! <laughs> hey, I wish there was an easy way to do this. Okay. Can't believe you wasted your one wish on that. <laughs> uh, well... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Can I do it again? Oh my god, I could do it again. Everybody gets one. <laughs> Tell him, Peter. Uh, apparently everybody gets one. Bingo. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Oh, that uses moment. Chat list is broke. I mean, Have you considered fixing it? I mean, chat list is broke. Uh, how is chat list broke? Chat list looks fine to me. If this, CKY, if this is on your local, it doesn't fucking count. Don't give me that bullshit.
the nightly you just installed. Um, start up and it's blank. Did you log out, log back in, and then restart afterwards? Uh, I don't want to use moment. I want to use Luxon, but we can't use wait. How long should I wait? Just a moment? Mm. Wait, do I have Luxon in here? <gasps> I'm using Luxon. What version's latest? What version are you? 3.x. Well, that's helpful. Thanks. What? What? 3. What? If you uninstall it, is that Lux off? Yes. No time. Yes, all the time, every time. Fine, all right, fine, fine. I'm not doing it now. I'll do it later. What are you yelling about? Wait. We're all required to import. Ha ha! Get wrecked, thing. Ha ha! Ha ha! Uh, what are you mad about? At the moment, nothing. No, not you. Okay, uh... Boy, this is angry about a lot of stuff. Why are you so angry? You might, CKY, because I think that's what changed. Is it last night's nightly, do you need to re-off? Uh, no, you shouldn't have to. Last night's nightly oh. should be fine. I thought all stuff was what just got jacked. Oh. Look at that. Dennis, you're done you're done fixing stuff today. Private. Yeah. Okay. Get out of here. What are you angry about? Can I do that? No, nope, you don't like that either. You see code, you want to fix That's fair. That's Aren't you supposed to be working on your fucking UML diagrams? that work? You have been well. An override keyword? There it is. I don't know what it does, but it's there. Why are my tooltips not working? Uh, and for parameter type... No, you're a string, goddammit. You're a string and you will behave as such. Return... Your face returns is a string. Returns void. It does not, in fact, return void. Nine plus. That's a void.
Let's see. String. Boolean. <clears throat> void. Uh, okay. Why are there so many Angies? Boolean. Void. Wait, timer IDs are numbers? I thought they were strings. Oh. The hell's get item? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what it wants. What? Does it have what plants grieve? It does. They're UUID strings? Then why is it acting like it was a number? Has this been broken this whole time? Has this been broken this whole time? I think this has been broken this whole time. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back to it. I feel like you're like a record of, we'll come back to you. You're a record of string and time. Stop saying that's a number. You're not a number. Hmm. That thing was like, I'm a number and you were like, man. <laughs> Wow. How dare you? Uh, you're a timer. I'm getting rid of it. I'm down to six errors. Where do you come from? Oh, yeah. How do I have more errors now? Interval ID is a set interval returns a uh, fuck. 
fine. I'm just that more things break. Huh, listen, don't, don't fucking worry about it. That's if you just described coding. Yeah, that's... He's kind of got you there, pal. Take it from the guy who, you know, deals with developers all goddamn day. You say deal with them, but ours aren't bad. Like... Um, so this is going to be, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, that removed some errors between 556 and 559. <laughs> Buddy, it's, boy, howdy, does that happen? Oh, yeah. What do you mean there's no on? Don't you extend like fucking Yeah, extended vent emitter. It's fine. Event emitter. Yeah. See, there's an on there. Yeah, see, there's on. It's fine. Why are you yelling? Hmm. I like that. Uh, all right. What What are my three that I have left? Let's go up here. What do we got? I don't know why. Fools fall in love. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Is this a bug that's been around forever? Wait, Dennis, Dennis, do we still have a bug where timers won't stop until the bots restarted? Is that a thing? I'm kind of tempted to test one and I'm going to go test and we're going to go interval every three seconds and I don't care and I don't care. That's it. Do you a, care? CK why that is a thing. Fucking shit snacks. Okay. Um, let's go log message. Log message is one of the greatest things that I have ever put in this fucking software. Okay, now let's go here. Timer running.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah? Yeah. Can I return through here? Is that okay? No. Return because who cares? Oh, I guess it needs to be false because then it's like it didn't actually delete, which is fucking whatever. Returns boolean. You get un. You are better for that. So I can return that false. Return this false. Because that'll fall through. see something Son of a bitch. Where's my last error? At the bottom? Oh, you... Oh. This can go there. That can go here. Why are you still angry? Because fuck you. Oh, well, I guess that that makes sense, yeah. Why are you angry? Same reason, probably. Oh. Alright, then we'll move this stuff down here. Huh, I get wrecked. God, why? Oh, I don't like any of the oh, 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 oh. Mm. Can we do can we do private functions now? I don't know. That's the only thing that's giving me an issue now. 
I do want to get rid of all this JS doc stuff. <clears throat> Boys, what if I fix the uh what if I fix the timer issue? What's funny and is it won't be an issue anymore. It's, it's still running. Oh. Start timers when the streamer goes online or offline. Ooh. Man, I'm super tempted to wrap that into the, uh... I'm super tempted to wrap that into the, uh... Event sub stuff, but I don't know how fucking reliable it is. So we're just gonna leave it for now. Um... Okay, I think that's it. I think, I think I'm done. I have everything but the one error fixed. There's a kitten's cat over there. What is your problem? Managers never reassign, use const instead. Not sure. What are you doing? What are you doing She's today? hurting you. She is. She came to church. Sure. You want to come say hello? Oh, yeah? She meow and squinty. Yeah, right? She knows. I, this really bothers me. Yeah, no, I reverted all of the stuff to connect, Connection Manager. Like, I don't know why this isn't. Let me do one last thing. I have an idea. Let's do it that way. doesn't like that either. Uh, yeah, she absolutely does that, Viv. All right. Well. I could do a... Yes, ignore on it. <laughs> Just it's fine, we won't tell anybody. Hey, look, it doesn't have any errors. That's the correct amount of errors. The actual error that it's complaining about? Uh, that um, property on does not exist on type connection manager. Yeah, we can import it from events. There's a pattern for events like get fuck off.
Do I even need that there? Oh, you yell about that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Well, that... No, that's not what I said. Listen. Oh my god, I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, it works. All right, we're done. We're done. I'm done. I fixed it. It's done. Great. Okay. I'll uh, probably do this in the morning. Um, you're lying. You should add in my code. No, absolutely not. If it's unless it's duck related, then I'll consider it. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Well, that's got to be a void. Hey, uh, Dennis and CKY, what if I fix that? And... Wow, Viv. Ouch. Wow. You know what? You know what? Bully did. How dare you? How dare? All right, let's get out of here. It's late. Let's go. Ah. <sighs> Who's doing stuff? Calyx is playing Fortnite. Camaris is doing crafty stuff. Coco's playing Goose Goose Duck. We haven't seen Coco in a minute. Uh, Tay's doing the music -y stuff. Ooh. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. You know who we're going to go see? We're going to actually stay in category. Um, so... Faf, our good buddy Faf in a boot, was so kind to bring this person our way a little while back. Uh, we're gonna go over uh, her way. We're gonna go see Time Enjoyed. Um, if it works, don't break something else. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break everything, pal. Uh, Time Enjoyed is working on. Uh, she's been working on an issue tracker, uh, which has been really cool to watch. So. Let's, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Um, get the raid ready. Ha 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 ha! My thing, my stuff works. <laughs> um, all right. Hey, uh, thank you all so much for, uh, for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, I will see you. I might do a little bit of this tomorrow. Um, just continue working on refactor stuff in Firebot because this is stuff that I've been wanting to do. Um, I know I've got some other stuff that I'll be ending up doing on the side, so I might end up doing some co-working stuff while I'm doing it, or like around it, but we'll figure all that out. Uh, anyways, um, thank you all again for hanging out and for the resubs and uh, CKY for the raid. Um, I will see y'all, if not tomorrow, then on Tuesday. Of course, there he is, there he is. Um, so until then, please remember as always, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. Penis.